confirmatory fact often we hear the term exploratory factor analysis and confirmatory factor analysis together so let us try to understand what is the difference between confirmatory factor analysis and exploratory factor analysis as i mentioned earlier in confirmatory factor analysis our model is specified beforehand and it is based on the theory whereas in exploratory factor analysis no model is specified a priori also it is important to note that efa is not considered as a member of scm analysis this is mainly because efa includes a class of procedures that are not considered under scm for example the centroids the principal components principal access fact factor analysis procedures secondly the efa does not require a priori hypothesis about the relations between factors and the indicators unlike the cfa third the efa specifies that each latent variable is connected with all the indicators it means that each factor or latent variable is a weighted composite of all the indicators the fourth factor that distinguishes efa from cfa is that efa requires all the latent variables to be correlated with one another another point that distinguishes efa from cfa is that efa is a efa is an inductive approach it means that it is a bottoms up strategy so in efa we draw conclusions based on specific observation efa is a data driven approach whereas cfa can be understood as a deductive approach which follows a top down strategy where we develop our conclusions based on theory lastly efa places more restrictions on the relationship between the indicators and factors compared to the cfa